Hello, YouTube viewers and random Spider-Man fans. It's safe to say that No Way Home definitely lived up to the hype, becoming one of my favourite live-action Spider-Man movies. So naturally, I had to pick up a figure to commemorate the occasion. Fortunately, Hasbro had one on standby in their Marvel Legends collection, and what with their high levels of detail and posability, it seemed to be the best choice. So, let's take a closer look at their all-new integrated suit figure. Starting off with the packaging, it's in the standard Marvel Legends style with the warped edges, nice big plastic window displaying the figure well, and the movie logo as well as the name of the figure written underneath. The sides of the box also offer some artwork of the new suit, while the back features a brief write-up in multiple languages which you can pause the video to read if you so wish. Beside these are a great image of Spidey swinging into action, while below this some images detail the other figures available in the wave. So that does it for the packaging, let's crack it open and take a look at the figure itself. Okay, so here we have Spider-Man in his all-new integrated suit. The detail is simply brilliant. For its small size, the head sculpt has been shaped incredibly well, with indented grooves making up the webbing design across its surface, while the eyes have been painted very sharply with minimal bleeding. On the torso, the new gold and blue spider logo can be seen in front of more of that indented webbing design, as well as sculpted work of his pecs and abs. The back gives us a gold outline of the logo on a blue backdrop, and some material sculpting too. The arms feature golden accents on the shoulders, as well as gold and silver web shooter gauntlets around the wrists and forearms, while the hands are posed in clenched fists. The legs are mostly just blue on front and back, with some stitching and panelling designs moulded into them, but the spider web design returns on the red boots, which have blue and golden accents at the tops. Finally, the heels have a peg hole each, as well as some legal blast and humbler brunger durgen. Turning to articulation, the head can do a full 360 degree exorcist style twist, as well as nod up and down, and pivot from side to side to an extremely wide degree. The arms can rotate through a full 360 at the shoulder, as well as move out to 90 degrees, and pivot in and out as well. There is a full 360 at the top of the arm, a double bend on the elbow allowing his hand to reach his face, and a full 360 on the wrist which can pivot in and out. The figure also gives us an impressive ab crunch, allowing the upper torso to bend in and out. There's also a full 360 degree waist articulation joint. The legs kick out to 90 degrees, as well as fully move out to the sides, allowing him to do the splits. We get a 360 degree joint at the top of the leg, a double bend on the knee, allowing himself to kick himself up the backside, or lower back I guess in this case. Finally, we get an ankle pivot joint, allowing the feet to move forward and back, as well as twist from side to side. Flipping across to accessories, Spider-Man doesn't really come with much. We get an alternate pair of web-slinging hands, which is an essential for any good Spider-Man figure. The gloves feature excellent detail, and they're moulded sharply into a web-shooting pose, and offer the same levels of articulation as the closed-fist versions. This is great, as it allows collectors to change up the look of the figure while on display, with my personal preference being him posed with one of each, as it looks very dynamic. And doing a quick size comparison, the integrated suit figure fits in well with the other Marvel Legends figures in my collection, putting him at around 6 inches in height, if not slightly shorter. So overall, what do I think of the No Way Home Integrated Suit Spider-Man figure? Well, I really like it. The detail is fantastic with minimal paint bleeding, making it look beautiful when it's on display. The real selling point, though, is the articulation. It takes me back to the glory days of playing with my original Tobey Maguire figure when I was a kid. Articulation is essential when it comes to a Spider-Man figure. It makes play way more dramatic for kids and allows collectors to display the figure in many exciting dynamic poses. There's nothing worse than having a Spider-Man figure who he looks awkward and weird whenever he's posed in a web shooting manner. I will say that the lack of accessories annoys me, as I would have liked something simple such as a strand of web which could clip over his wrist, or even a base with a peg as that would allow for further exciting display poses. In the end, it's a great figure, and it's one that I was eager to pick up to represent one of the best Spider-Man movies in recent memory. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video. And why not be extra awesome like all of these people and support us on Patreon? Links are in the description. Until next time, farewell.